Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we have displayed a hands-on demo on how to interconnect FBase and how to, what are the interconnection possibilities to connect FPs. In today's video, we will be discussing about what are the compilation and downloading possibilities of the CFCs into PLC and what are the testing modes offered within PCS7 to check the CFC logic. So let's get diving. Here we are in our workstation. We'll open PCS7. I've opened a CFC. So here, using PCS7 API library, I have dropped some of the blocks into my CFC area. I can add binary blocks also. So, to compile, we have two possibilities. Either we can click here on the toolbar for compilation. Here, we will be having two options. Either entire program compilation or changes only compilation. Entire program compilation will take consider all the CFCs while changes only compilation will consider what are the newly added blocks. So we'll do changes only compile and it will prompt and log what are the things it have compiled and if there is any errors or warnings. Close. And if you add some another block, this icon here will represent the charts need to be compiled. So you can click on this and go to PLC and download. This download will also prompt if there are any necessary changes need to be done. It will prompt a window first to compile. Click on S. Here also we will be having the same entire program compilation or changes only compilation. We can select anything and in addition to that, since we have prompted for a download, it will ask for a, the downloading window also. Here we have three options. Either entire program download, changes only download, or to test CPU. This is generally used when we are trying to download a project to some other CPU rather than the configured one. So we'll keep changes only here and we'll keep changes only in compile. So as you can see, it is already prompting for download changes only. So this is the downloading window. It shows no errors and warnings. So you can either do compile here itself or here. And here in addition to that, we will having download also. If you have modified any single blocks in this chart and if you want to compile and download here itself, rather than going into that view, we can do it here itself. So now I'll be showing you the possibilities of checking the CFC logic. This button is used to toggle between the test mode, which can be described as viewing the online values of PLC. You can click this. So as you can see, we are in run mode now. And you can see the banner is also changed of color and it is showing online. So you can press any block and you can click this option watch on, which will turn the online values. So as you can see, we are having uh, the online real values from PLC. So uh, it's quite hard to debug every block and every logic like this. So what are the testing possibilities we have in PCS7 itself? For that, we need to close the simulation or uh, online view and we need to navigate to view. Here, we have two possibilities, dynamic display or trend display. For first, we will click on dynamic display. Arrange. So here, we can add any variables from CFC chart. I can add by simply dragging and dropping the pins of any block. It will go online. By default, some blocks watch time work, so you can make them on. For this, only output pin was given as watch on. So that's why it is throwing that prompt. So as you can see here, I can online monitor the values of any blocks. We can add in this dynamic 
display on runtime also so this is one possibility and one more possibility was trend display you can define one trend here and you can simply drag and drop the values which you want to monitor it will prompt up to 12 values in one trend display you can press on start after adding the required values so as you can see the trend is getting generated. You can set the lower limit and upper limit and sampling time of the chart. For demo sake, we will be adding another block which have analog values. We will go to convert family. We will be modifying the value of this real. And we will add this chart. We need to hold this and then we can add the chart. We will be selecting 4. Okay. And you can configure the lower and upper limits. Start. See, our fourth point was added. Let me change the value to 1. See, like this, we can monitor analog parameters through this trend display so these are the two possible ways by using this we can troubleshoot our cfc logics through monitoring the values and if you found this video helpful please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos on industrial automation and see you in the next video goodbye all